And welcome back this morning on Today's Food. Elizabeth Chambers is here. She is the CEO and founder of Bird Bakery, a shop that opened its doors 11 years ago in San Antonio, Texas. Since then, the franchise is on. And now a new spot in the Cayman Islands, Bird's newest location. And Elizabeth is going to help us get ready for the holiday weekend with a couple of great picnic items. Great to see you, yes, by the way. So nice to see you, Carson. Welcome off the island. Thank Welcome you. to New York City. Welcome to the mainland. Welcome to the mainland. Back in America for Memorial Day I, I weekend. I know at Bird Bakery you sell, uh, are we going well, to start with it? I know that the chicken salad is a family Chicken recipe. Chicken salad's insane. Yes, it's my mom's recipe. It is we're gonna delicious. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Okay. We're going to start with cobbler. So Love also it. my mom's recipe. We're just keeping it all in the family as we do at Bird Bakery. This is the easiest cobbler recipe you will ever make in your life. I know your wife is an amazing cook. You dabble. I do okay, yeah. You're, when you're not drinking beer on, right. on a, on a 9 a.m. on a Friday. Yes, that yep. is right. Um, so this recipe I love. It's simply six ingredients. You're going to take your sugar. You have melted butter, self-rising flour, which mm -hmm. is your leavening agent, and you have your milk. If you are gluten-free, you can also do uh, gluten-free flour. Okay, well, yeah. for those who aren't, okay. Carson, let's think about others okay. here. I know. <laughs> Thank you. That was a personal Not a question. personal attack. No, no, no. Um, what is the difference between a cobbler and a pie? So that's a really good question. A cobbler does not have a crust. It can, okay. but this one does not. And what I love, my mom kind of makes it in the simplest way that really reduces waste and mess and she puts her Pyrex 9x13 yeah. pan in the oven with the melted butter which we have here. Mm -hmm. She lets the butter melt, you know, maybe two minutes, three minutes, yeah. and then she puts all of the ingredients in that pan. It's easier. It's like a it's one like a pot Yeah, it's like a, yeah. Dump, a dump cake, which I don't love that. I don't really love I, that. No, but I get it. You dump it all in, you cook it, and that's that. Yeah, so if you want to cut down on dishes, you can do that, or you can get your little mixer. Okay. You can mm -hmm. do a standing mixer. Are you, you going to help me? Or are you I just am going to help you. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Get in there. You just did it. I mean, what, <laughs> I mean what make I yourself do? useful, Carson. You're the CEO. Okay, okay, I see why. You can turn it up. You can turn it up. You can mix a little more. You can do it by hand. You let this do its thing. Yes, and the thing about flour, once you add the flour, as you know, you yep. never want to overmix because the gluten is in there. Okay. You can whip your butt, you can whip your eggs, you can whip your sugar, you can do butter, but once the flour is in there, gentle, oh gentle was my point. Okay, perfect. So okay. it's done. So look, look what you did. Are yep. you so proud perfect. of yourself? Perfect, I love Amazing. it. Magic of TV. Okay, exactly. So we're going to take our fruit, and the beauty of this recipe is you can use any seasonal fruit. You can do peaches, you can do blueberries, rhubarb, I don't okay. care, whatever rhubarb. works. You can do frozen or fresh, okay. and you're going to normally toss this in cinnamon <laughs> sugar. And you can do you again. Pour these in? Yeah, well, you yeah, go for oh, it. Oh, you yeah. do the fruit. Yeah, first, I like to right? do like a little bit on the bottom. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Good, right? And then, and then save a little bit for the top. Save a little for the top. Yep. Oh. And again, you can do it in a pie dish. You can right. do it and in then a you pie. Cook, bake these for how long? You could bake the 275, mm -hmm. 13 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of your okay. pan. Yep. <laughs> and you want to toss your fruit in cinnamon sugar. Okay, perfect. So beautiful, and so easy, so simple. Love you it. have your entire Memorial Day weekend dessert planned. All right, we only now got about a minute, and this is important first. for mom. Yeah. By, the way, By the way, how's the cobbler? It's insane. So so it's so easy, guys. It's so good. Almond extra. Extract is the best key ingredient, spicy good ingredient. Not okay. a lot of time. Let's so, go through this. Go. You bake okay. your own chicken for the chicken. chicken. You can also go get a rotisserie okay. chicken for the grocery cool store. Simple. Make your life easy. Bake the chicken. Kitchen cheers. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. You do no your... mayo. Are you use something else? I love mayo. I am a mayo girl. Oh, okay. If you're not a mayo girl, you can do half mayo, half Greek yeah. yogurt. Okay. If perfect. that's what you're into. Um, <laughs> our dry cherries, oh, our healthy. pecans, our tarragon, our Dijon. It is so easy. good. Thank you. And you don't need a tarragon offer. It's just like a little depth. Yeah, it's different, right? You can do it without tarragon. My kids prefer it without tarragon for their lunches. And the beauty of it is you can have sandwiches, a charcuterie board, salad, yes. pure wow. protein, so so delicious good. and amazing and perfect for your Memorial well Day. Done, Why don't you take it? You guys enjoy. Elizabeth rocked it. The recipes and more today.com slash food. We're back with our third and fourth hours in a minute. But first, this is today on NBC. Quick check your local news now and weather. Thank you, Elizabeth Chambers. Eat up, everybody. Right. 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 Right.